Living in Puerto Rico brace for a direct hit from Hurricane Dorian. Luckily, as we mentioned, the Category 1 storm dumped some rain and left no real damage. It was just two years ago that Hurricane Maria caused widespread damage in Puerto Rico. And upon learning another hurricane was coming, some decided to get out of harm's way. Our Greg Argo spoke with some of them at Philadelphia International Airport tonight. Greg? And Yuki, in total, more than 100 flights were actually canceled, leaving Puerto Rico, including a few which were scheduled to land here at Philadelphia International Airport. But we did catch up with one plane full of people who were able to leave the island just in the nick of time. For the passengers who arrived from San Juan. Dodging Hurricane Dory. I left early because of the storm. This flight from San Juan, Puerto Rico, packed with people who were able to leave the island as conditions there deteriorated. Five more minutes to board. If not, they was going to cancel the flight. Five minutes. Five minutes. You might have been the last flight. Yes, we were. Hurricane Dorian sideswiping Puerto Rico Wednesday evening as a Category 1 storm. Government officials there taking no chances. They're better prepared. The National Guard was activated. Even so, those now safely in Philly describing a chaotic scene in the hours before the storm approached. Folks are panicking and, and, and they were terrified. You know, it brought back uh, just bad memories. I mean, I mean, two years ago was uh, Maria. All the supermarkets, they were cleaning that place out. Jose Velez remembers those scary moments. His family on the island when Maria hit two years ago. Right now, that hurricane is nothing like Maria, but people are concerned. And though Jose says he's glad he doesn't have to deal with this storm, he's still worried about his loved ones back in Puerto Rico. I'm hurting, bro. But as soon as that plane left, I started crying. You can imagine. I left all my family out there. And now all of the focus, of course, is on Florida as that storm is barreling towards the southeast U.S., going to hit possibly in the next five days. In fact, we caught up with one woman here today at Philadelphia International Airport who says she lives in South Florida and she decided to get out days in advance. I'm live here at Philadelphia International Airport. Greg Argos, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Greg, thank you.